Hello! Thank you for clicking on the video. I greatly appreciate that. If you find yourself enjoying this video, I do hope you hit the like button down below as it really helps push it with the YouTube algorithm. If you find yourself coming back to my channel fairly often, I do hope you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you can get notified about when I'm going live and my upcoming videos. Now, if you haven't seen any of the previous videos for Lost and Random, you can check out this playlist here. And if you just haven't seen the last video for Lost and Random, you can check that video out here. And without further ado, let's poop on in and play some Lost and Random. Oh! 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 Thank you. Now, all we have to do is survive Nanny and the Queen and her minions, and we'll fix everything. Let's go! Hey, whoa. Seymour, you're... You're in no condition to fight. You need to rest. I can't let you do it alone. I'm not alone. Seymour, when this is all over, there will always be a place for you in one town. I'd, uh, I'd like that, even. Ah, so the, the things break as I do the stuff. Okay, got it. And I got a reward that I don't care about because I'm not going to set that. And now I can get this story page. Fishy boy. Fishy boy. I'm I'm supposed to find someone here. I, I don't know, Dicey. But I know they're here somewhere. Oh, but I can't go back down. Alright. Okay. Present my forte, but not my spirit. She was almost there. Almost there. This isn't what happens next, you know. Who are you and uh, you know what happens next? And you know what happens next? I ought to, shouldn't I? I am the Queen's narrator, after all. Show some respect, child. The queen imprisoned her own narrator? Tell me all about the queen. The queen imprisoned her own narrator? The queen desires control. More than that, she desires not to be controlled. She reached a point where she thought I was controlling her. Isn't that what narrators do? But she just... You just narrate what she does. You're smarter than you look, child. Yes, that is true. But I could not convince her of that fact. Stories take us places. All of us. Even narrators. And my place, it would seem, is in prison. Where I can narrate only myself. Tell me about the Queen. I could narrate volumes to you, child. But, like I said, that is not what happens next. Suffice it to say that when she was younger, the queen, then just a princess. She was happy. We were happy. There was such promise in her. A spark, ineffable. What happened next? Did something go wrong? What happened next? Tragedy. Something unexpected. She tried to stop it, but it is a tale long forgotten and best left that way. You don't seem like a very nice narrator. Thanks for your help. Uh, thanks for your help. Oh, I haven't helped you at all, child. All I've done is narrate some backstory. Your fate is out of my hands. From what I can see, I'm relieved it's so. I don't need your failure on my conscience. 
As days bled into months, and then into years, no one could say what would happen now, least of all me. Hail, kind soul, and well met. I'm a lost traveler from a distant land. I, I seem to have taken a wrong This turn was not what was supposed to happen. Here. You haven't seen it, have you? One thing was certain. The story had taken a very dark turn. Freedom rules. I did what I did for the rebellion. I regret none of it. Which rebellion? Who are you? Which rebellion? The glorious rebellion of Four Town against the Queen in the No Dice War, of course. True, I was captured, but you cannot kill an idea. Thorberg will be victorious. Villainy can never triumph. Four Town? I've been there. You were from the original Four Town? The original? What do you mean, the original? Tell me, what became of Four Town? The original city is gone, I'm sorry. Now it's called Forberg. Uh, it, uh, it's fine. Four Town stands today, definitely not destroyed. The original city is gone. No, it's not possible. I, I don't... I can't... Forberg? And what of her people? There's a new city built on the ruins. Ah, you see. The city may be gone, but the spirit is thriving. Just as I may be rotting here in jail, but the rebellion lives on. Even though my city may no longer stand, its ideals always will. Huzzah! Huzzah, I say! Freedom this rules. is definitely a different Shadow Man than the one we've met. Even's narrator was so close, she just had to keep looking. Some part of Even knew her narrator was close. It was a feeling that even and her narrator were almost reunited. She was so close. She was so dramatically close. Hello, even. Do you remember me? For I remember you. Uh, the Shadow Man, you leave me alone. Nope, I don't waste memory on useless shadows. The Shadow Man, you leave me alone. And yet, you were the one who approached me. You're probably wondering why I'm here and not out there picking my teeth with the bones of the disobedience. I suppose it makes no difference to tell you. The Queen hired me. All those years ago, to kill that meddlesome king of freedom, and to start their war. Why'd you do that, you, you monster? I figured she was involved. Why'd you do that, the monster? Oh, I was paid, but I would have done it for free. The queen wanted to ensure his children would tear each other apart in the years and decades to come. And they did. I gave the Queen her endless war. I did brilliant work. Oh, but she played even me, you see. She promised me the people would fear the Shadow Man beyond reason. But they didn't. My rule was kept secret. And instead, they grew to fear war, their own deaths. When I finally had enough, when I finally threatened to reveal the truth to everyone, well, here I am. Good, good, good. You'll find a way in here. You'll fade away in here, Shadow Man. I pity you. You know, you never amounted to anything. You never will. Uh, I pity you. You never no, amounted to anything. No, you don't get to pity me. I'm terrifying. You're terrified of me. Say it! Say you're terrified! Pitiful. You don't pity me? In fact, no. I pity you. 
You hear me? I pity you! I pity you! Nobody pities me! Nobody! Nobody! Nice. This was not what was supposed to happen. This one won't let me do it. Hmm. One thing was certain. The story had taken a very dark turn. Right, that's the ball. Like the ball. All this for a little super juice. What happened? Hey, didn't As I see you in two towns? Tell me months, how you got here. And then into years. Hey, didn't I see you in two no towns? No one well, could say very what was happening now. I was minding my business, and then Nanny Fortuna came, and I accidentally spilled some Zupa juice on her. That's it. Does everybody love Zupa juice? That's it? That's it? That's it. And then she arrested me and brought me to the Queen. And then I'll maybe spill some juice on her. <laughs> you still had juice? <laughs> I, I, I was thirsty. And then I tried to clean it up and kind of maybe spill some more juice on her black dice. And down her dress. That was two lifetime sentences extra right there. Where were you storing all this juice? Where were you storing all this juice? Mm, pockets, mostly. Cheeks, too. Built in the hidden reservoirs in the top, too. Got my rung out of my hair. I'm a juicy boy. <laughs> I'm not going to apologize for that. Anyway, that's my story. Remember me? My only regret is that I ceaselessly spilled so much super juice on authoritarian steak pickers. I to cook in there. Store at the bar. Till the bar. Um. What's it for? The, uh. The fact that they didn't take the time to put. The characters in these and they just use shadow man as like a, a thing is kind of disappointing ah there you are my friend thank you for the rescue now i can get back to my job of narrating <clears throat> the narrator said narratively who are you i mean weird yeah it's uh, you there you are no. Whoa, 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 wait. You can hear me? Yeah, this is new, and yet it isn't. I can hear you. You can hear me. Yeah, this is new, and yet it isn't. This is unprecedented. But that doesn't mean it's bad. Fourth wall break. Took the words right out of my mouth, little one. It was hard being alone. I felt like half a person, if that makes sense. I felt your absence. I honestly didn't notice you were gone. I felt your absence. <laughs> it would be strange if you didn't. I am your narrator, after all. Oh, but it is nice to know when one's work is appreciated. But you can hear me now. And we should make the most of that while we can. One never knows how long it will be until the old authorities reassert themselves. We've got a quest to finish, my friend. And I stand ready to describe it, if you stand ready to live it. Can you tell me and Dicey what happens next? Listen to this once and for all. Let's. Now then, where were we? <clears throat> ah yes. A girl, her dice, and her narrator were reunited at last. Behind them, the wreckage of all that had stood in their way. Ahead of them, the queen and her minions. Even squared her shoulders and strode forward toward her destiny. Oh, why, thank you. I'm assuming this was very good narrating. They did a good job with the person who they decided to pick for the narrator. Let's 
Let's see. This used to be a beautiful palace. A place of learning. Of magic. Of... Oh, yes, Dicey. It was also a place of dice. This is confusing. What a hidden fishy boy. that once echoed with the laughter of children were now still empty and desolate. Oh, right. Except for even and her amazing friend Dicey, who was uh, great, did you say? Here, yeah, mate, let's trade cards. Sometimes I'll Who was, and I quote, great and awesome to the max. <laughs> I'm glad they gave Dicey like line stuff that makes him more real than a, than just the dice. If they would have just kept made him like a science dice, it would have been. Uh, I think it would have been weird. In case. Oi, oi. Looking to get an invincibility potion, are you? Well, you've come to the wrong place. I've got cars, though. <laughs> and of course, we start our fight. Nice dodge. I'm out of my thing. Okay. Roll two.
done. The dark crystals had appeared in the same age as the castle's fall. But they were not the cause of this destruction, merely an effect of it. There was something much darker here. Way to creep us out, Mr. Narrator. See this uh, narrated story. So is Nanny Fortuna really the bad guy here? The remains of the castle were quiet, almost serene. But within them still dwelled a great power. Here goes nothing, Dicey. Uh, there's one page here left. In the narrate in the illustrated story. Hopefully that comes in from the castle here. Oh, look at this place. It is stunning. And it's been lived in recently. We're not alone here, Dicey. Once again, thank you for clicking on the video. I do hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you all next time. Peace.